Holmes, may I introduce you to Mr. Kipper, the renowned adventure writer? He came to me with a problem today that I thought you would find... What seems to be the matter? Recently, on my latest expedition through the subcontinent, I came into the possession of the ancient Blade of... The Sacred Blade of the Thuggy Cult? You are lucky to be alive, taking... It appears my luck is running out, Mr. Holmes. I have reason to believe that I am the target of this death cult. I'm deathly afraid to return to my home alone. Can you help me, Mr. Holmes? It appears we have arrived without incident. Would you mind if we looked about, Mr. By all means, my home is yours. The one thing I don't see here is the blade it's- I have a pawnbroker. Come with me.
I've seen enough, Mr. Kipper. I have some errands to attend to. Would you mind meeting us at Baker Street? Holmes, please don't... I wouldn't worry too much, Mr. Kipper. I'll be able to explain better tonight. Simply extraordinary. I'm afraid not. Quite regrettable. No. That won't work. Righto. Oh no! No, that's not it. Well done. Oh, fiddlesticks. That won't work. That's not it. Well done. Oh, fiddlesticks. Oh, fiddlesticks. Well done. Oh, no. That won't work. I'm afraid not. Oh, fiddlesticks. Righto. Quite regrettable. No. Well done. That won't work. Oh, fiddlesticks. Yes. That won't work. Well done. You've been the victim of an elaborate ruse. But Ruby Patel was our culprit, right? Yes, just not for attempted murder. I've learned that Mr. Patel is the head of India's Office of Antiquities. He wasn't after you at all. He was after the Blade of Cal- And he was willing to use the legend of the Thuggy to that end. Having tracked the Blade to Kipper, he learned Kipper's habits. Then he sent the Thuggy death threat to him. Rather than go through official channels as private residence and placing it at the pawn, the pawnbroker, we can surmise that he is now on his way back to India with his prize. Remarkable. The only thing left with which to concern ourselves regarding this case is who is going to write about it. Congratulations. Telegram, Holmes. It's from your brother Mycroft. He's requesting my services. There's been a murder on the West End. The songwriter Jonas Thorncraft has been killed. Mr. Holmes, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you here. Hello, Inspector Lestrade. 
I heard that Jonas Thorncraft was murdered tonight. We are hit. Gentlemen, I hope you've... Yes, Inspector. I believe we have. You've solved the case? Bro On the contrary, Watson. There is something very fish... Of course, Holmes. Uh, where to? The Diogenes Club. I suspect that Mycroft isn't telling us the entire story. Sherlock, what are you doing here? Attempting to discover who killed your spy. I'm sure you won't mind if I look about.
Watson, what time is it now? It's nearly 4.30, but don't worry, Holmes. I've rescheduled my... Quickly, we must go. Holmes, can you please tell me what's going on? It's simple, Doctor. Look around you. What is all this? Stand aside, Inspector. It is nearly time.
Hi Joe, that was good. That's not it. I'm afraid not. That's not it. Right oh. Oh no. Quite regrettable. Quite regrettable. Nice work. Quite regrettable. No. No. Perfect. Quite regrettable. That won't work. That's not it. That's it. That was dreadful. Oh, fiddlesticks. No. Perfect. That was dreadful. Exactly right. I'm afraid not. That won't work. Righto. No. Perfect. So we know Jonas Thorncraft was a spy for the... Yes, he was transporting military secrets across foreign borders, using his talent as a musician to... In using music scrolls. But he knew he was being trailed by an enemy agent. But still, Mr. Thorncraft was caught off guard by his paramour and then murdered when he wouldn't turn over the plans. 
Knowing he wasn't long for this world, he attempted to leave a coded message revealing the location. He saw the shadow of the blinds and instantly saw bars of music. He used his own blood to mark the notes and smack. Remarkable! Scotland Yard detained Miss Walensky before she could board the vessel to the continent. Mycroft should be quite pleased with your outcome of this dastardly business. Congratulations! Cheerio!